There was an old man, his name was Will. Nobody liked him, he was a bitter old pill. He hated his past, he hated his mistakes, and more than that, he hated that he had to wake up today. So he watched TV while loathing his life, eating bland TV food and ignoring his wife. But one day he was out, walking about. At the crossroads he stopped, with an attack of the gout. And the wind blew cold and fierce from the south, and he looked up and felt his ice-cold heart freeze, the ghost at the crossroad, her laugh, her wheeze. He shuddered, he knew, that death was now near. He walked home determined to outrun her in fear. He tinkered her in his shop day after day. He locked the door, and if someone came, he'd scare them away. And one day he just smiled and laughed to himself, and grabbing his top hat that was on the top of his shelf, he wound his old watch that he had been tinkering at, and wound himself back in time. How about that? He was 17 now, and he knew what he'd do. He'd escape the mistakes that his youth led him to. He was witty and smart, and he had all the girls. As time passed, his cleverness won him the world. He knew all the treasures unearthed through his time. He was wealthy and vibrant, one of a kind. And everyone loved him, but something was not right. He knew that old hag was waiting for him out in the night. Well, after some time, he was old once again. He saw the old ghost saying, Your time has come, friend. Come away with me to the Isle of the Dead, and rest now in peace, your weary bones, friend. But he laughed and he wound his old watch in a jiff, smiled and winked and disappeared and spiff. He was young once again, young through and through, and he went through this sequence times more than a few. Well, well, all through his journeys he had seen it all. London, Tunisia, the Great China Wall. And through all these days as he laughed and he wept, being careful as ever to stay one step ahead, but in one life he met her. No, it wasn't his wife, but his partner, a fairy, he was certain, his partner in life. But what can be done? How can we stay? We can't grow young together. We'll both die one day. And he thought and he thought, then he found a solution. A way to make death young, a magical potion. So they both grew old, and being witty and bold, they cheated death and ran away in the hole. They were happy, but then the imbalances grew. But death was too young, this they now knew. The trees would not decay even with age. The bunnies and snakes multiplied and grew thicker day by day. They tried to burn an effigy, an offering to gods. But it did not burn or spark a bit, and they continued with their lot. As the world ripened to super sweetness with turgid alcoholic creakers, they knew that they had to go away for this world, oh my, how it reeked. And death was there so young, so fair. And Will, he smiled, and she smiled back aware. Bring me death, he said, he pleaded. Bring me peace, it's what I'm needing. So she smiled, and then finally she came, and at long last took the old man away.